So the end of the year is quickly approaching us and that means no more major smartphones are probably gonna hit the market. So I decided to take six of arguably the best smartphones of 2019 to find out which one takes the best selfie. Now on the left hand side, I have the Huawei P30 Pro. It's not the Mate 30 Pro, it's not available here in Canada. I have the 11 Pro, LG G8 X Thin Q, terrible name, no 10 plus, OnePlus 7T and the Pixel 4 XL. Now before I show you this video, I just wanna say I apologize. I had to use myself for taking the selfies. I wish I had someone more attractive, which means you're probably gonna have nightmares for the rest of your life. So the first photo is indoors under regular lighting conditions. I wanted to see which phone would handle the best with lighting directly above me. P30 Pro, slightly reddish hues on the lips and around my skin tones. There's a bit of face smoothening happening, but not as aggressive compared to previous Huawei devices. Lots of over sharpening going on in the beard, but overall I'm pretty happy with its performance. iPhone 11 Pro. This is odd because usually it takes a good selfie and this one just completely messed up the white balance. It made me look a little bit too green, like I'm dying from eating too much broccoli, which I don't think is possible. Skin tones look good. There's not any overexposure, but I don't like the white balance in this photo. LG G8 Thin QX, which I'll never say that name again after this time, looks awful. No, it is not water damaged. Yes, I did clean the front facing camera. This is what it just looks like when you take a selfie. Next up, we have the Note 10 Plus. Did a really good job. You will notice though, it does a lot of skin smoothing. So the wrinkles around my face are a lot smoother compared to other cameras in this picture. Color profile is good. Overall, I'm very happy with the photo. OnePlus 7T. I don't think it was the worst one out of the bunch. It did okay. Overall, I'm happy with it, but it looks dull in comparison to the others. And last up, we have the Pixel 4 XL. I think it probably came in second place here after the Note 10 Plus, but overall a good job with exposure. So first up is the P30 Pro. It looks a little bit flat, a lot more skin smoothening going on. Beard is a little bit over sharpened. Background is completely blown out. Definitely not the best selfie out of the bunch. iPhone 11 Pro looks significantly better than the previous photo. The skin tones look good. You can see my shirt properly. You can see the highlight roll off. It did a significantly better job with the background, it's not overexposed. You can actually see inside of the window. LG G8, no idea what is going on here. It's just not a good front facing camera. Note 10 Plus, it looks good, but it's definitely over exaggerated. It looks like a bunch of people went to the party and they decided to go into Lightroom and just crank up the saturation to 1000. One plus 7T, it's not bad. I don't think it's the best one, but it's not bad considering the price of this smartphone. Pixel 4 XL, I think this is probably tied for second place with the iPhone 11. Some might actually think the Pixel 4 is better and that's fine, this is subjective, but the Pixel 4 did a really good job with my skin tones, my beard looks nice and clean, the colors on my shirt actually look better than the iPhone 11 Pro, and it also did a good job of exposing the background. Now we're moving into a dark setting and a lot of these cameras struggle because they don't have a night mode. P30 Pro is significantly increasing the skin smoothness to compensate and over sharpening this photo like crazy. And because of that, you get a picture that's not noisy, but you're just losing so much detail. You can barely see the hairs in my beard. The shirt looks completely black. It's workable, but it's probably not the best approach to this photo. iPhone 11 Pro on the other hand is taking the opposite approach. All it's doing is keeping that detail, but it's in cranking up the ISO completely, which is introducing a lot of noise into the photo. LG G8, don't know what you're smoking over there, buddy. But uh, yeah, it looks like I have jaundice now. Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This has a night mode, so I use night mode on this photo, and as you can see, it looks better than the other previous three photos. OnePlus 7T, still doing good. I think it did a great job, just like the P30 Pro. It is over smoothening my skin a bit and, cr and cranking up the sharpness, and with that, just like the P30 Pro, you're losing some of that detail. Last up, which I think is the best one out of the bunch, is the Pixel 4 XL, because it has night sight, just like the Galaxy Note 10, to take front-facing photos. And yes, it's slightly overexposed on the sides of my cheek, but I think it provides the best balance out of the bunch. 
Now we're back outdoors again for a little portrait mode. Huawei P30 Pro did a decent job of not blowing up the background. Still slightly overexposed, but not as bad as a couple of the other photos here. Skin tones look good. I think this is probably the best picture from the Huawei phone in this entire video so far. I'd be pretty happy with it. The blur in the background is not as drastic compared to the other phones. So some might argue this looks a lot more natural. iPhone 11 Pro, skin tones look great, but it's definitely way too blown out in the background. It just didn't do a good job of exposing this photo. LG G8, what's going on, buddy? Did you invite your friends over? Have a little bit too much to drink? I mean, my skin looks great, but you just got excited with that sky and completely blew it out. Note 10 Plus, it went back to the party. Boosted up the saturation again, smoothed out the skin. I think it looks great. Using live focus, it doesn't look as natural as some of the other pictures, but overall, it did a decent job of exposing this photo correctly. OnePlus 7T, I think it actually looks really good. Yes, there's some skin smoothing going on and the beard could be a bit sharper, but out of the bunch here, it did a better job of exposing the background of this photo. And finally, Pixel 4 XL. I think it looks the best out of the bunch with a Note 10 Plus coming in a close second. It did the best of exposing the background. The skin tones look good, it looks sharp. And finally, we have the front facing video. I'm just gonna talk about the three best ones, 11 Pro, Note 10 Plus, and Pixel 4 XL. Those are the three that are doing the best job of trying to keep the background properly exposed. The G8, no idea what's going on. They're way too over sharpened. I'm a little bit red. It's like it's just been smoking too much crack. OnePlus 7T actually doing a pretty good job, better than the G8 and slightly better than the P30 Pro. So that pretty much wraps up my front facing selfie test with some of the best phones of 2019. I think the Note 10 Plus, Pixel 4 XL and the iPhone 11 Pro are the three top candidates. I think the Pixel 4 probably did the best overall, but at the end of the day, it really comes down to your personal preference because a lot of this is very subjective. I do know that the P30 Pro Definitely the G8 and the OnePlus 7T has a bit more to work on in terms of improving that quality. So hopefully we'll see better results in the next phone that they come out on the market. That wraps it up. Let me know your favorites in the comments down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.